do. So we are a, a information integrator, and that's the only way to success against diseases like, uh, like the ones we tackle. Um, the fact that it costs a billion dollars, it does. Real, we'll, on hepatitis C, we, will, we and our European partner, J&J, &J, will spend um, an actual billion dollars, no cost of capital calculation, an actual billion dollar bills getting that drug to the marketplace. Most of that is around the crazy development process that our drugs have to go through, which if you came down from Mars, you wouldn't believe how drugs are developed. We have this process, um, we have this process that's, that's medieval is a compliment, okay? <laughs> so it's not efficient, it's not very effective, and it actually doesn't accomplish what it's designed to do very well. Um, increasingly so. We increasingly study tighter and tighter definitions within a large patient population so we can unleash a drug on a broad definition and think we're either studying safety or effectiveness in that. So it's a very bizarre process that's got to be reformed. Unfortunately, it's regulated. The drug companies can't alone be the reformation agent. I did a study to show that if you redesigned the drug development process and just did exactly the same things we're doing now but in a different order, you could lower the cost of drug development by 35 percent. So just not even plead nolo contendere to whether you want to know all this stuff. Just do them in a different order and you save 35 percent. But you can't do them in a different order now because it's all regulated.